Okay, we'll start the session right now. Good evening to one and all. So before starting the session, first I will introduce the things what we had discussed in the last session. In the last session, the first thing is mainly we discuss the first basic term is what do you mean by program? What is a program? Simply set of instructions to perform a task is called program. After completion of the program, we move to the term software. What is mean by software? The set of programs. Software is called simply the set of programs is called software. Generally, this software is divided into two types. One is system software and the second one is application software. So, what do you mean by system software? The software that is designed to run the particular hardware. For example, if you want to run any application, compulsory you need an operating system. So, that operating system is called system software. And application software, what is mean by application software? Simply, we are designing a software for some specific application for example demand we are designing a billing software so here what is the meaning we have the software this software is designed by using python programming language that is our aim by using python programming language so just now we listen two words so a program software Next, within 10 minutes, I will complete the yesterday session. Why? Because uh, most of the new students are joined. The next one is languages. If you want to communicate, compulsory, we require a language. Similarly, if you want to do some task, if you want to write some program, here also, compulsory, we need some languages. One such language is mission language. Second one is assembly language and third one is high level language so these are the three types of languages that we have available so simple description of these three languages are mission level language the language that is understandable by the mission mission means the computer that means binary in the simple sense the mission level language is binary Every instruction is in the form of zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. And coming to assembly language. I already have the mission language. What is the need of moving into assembly language? Why? Because the mission language is computer. That means mission dependent. So, for example, if you are running one mission. For example, I am running on this computer. You have to remember the codes. Assume 1001 like this. This is the binary language for addition. Suppose if you are moving to another system. So the code may be changed. Suppose in another system, assume this is the code. So it is very difficult to remember the binary code. At the same time, it is very difficult to remember the codes from system to system. So, to overcome this difficulty of remembering all the binary, we are moving into assembly language. So, in assembly language, we are using mnemonics. So, mnemonics in the sense, instead of binary, we are using the instructions. Suppose add. Add is the instruction which is used to perform addition between two numbers. The SUV to perform subtraction between numbers. Like that, we are using some instructions. Here also we have one problem. The problem is remembering these large set of instructions is also very difficult. Finally, we are moving into high level language. So, high level language in the sense our natural language like English. So, everyone knows our natural English language. So, that is the reason. It is very easy to write the program. Everyone knows plus is the symbol used for addition. So, no need to remember additional things. Suppose in mission, you have to remember the binary. 
in assembly you have to remember the mnemonics but coming to this one regularly we are using the plus symbol so that is the reason no need to remember this plus symbol now these are the three types of languages so finally before moving to the next one i will explain one important point related to languages the point is here for example i know only telugu language you know only english language so how do you understand the language simply a translator is required a translator is required the purpose of translator is to convert one language into another language so we have assembler is one translator so the purpose of assembler is to convert assembly into mission why computer understands only mission level language that is the reason by using the assembler translator we are converting the assembly language into mission level language similarly another translators are compiler and interpreter compiler and interpreter these two are another translator so these two are used to convert high level language into mission level language so compiler is used to convert high level language into mission level language interpreter is also used to convert high level language into mission level language simple difference for example i gave a speech of 10 minutes after completion of 10 minutes the entire english speech is converted into telugu that is performed by the compiler that means i am writing a program the entire program is at a time converted into mission language that is compiler coming to interpreter so whenever i completed my first sentence so the first sentence is converted into telugu and second sentence converted into telugu that means in the program instead of converting the entire program at a time it will convert line by line convert line by line this is interpreter so these are the main things that we are discussed other along with these things we also discussed applications without knowing applications no need to learn the python what are the applications and where we are using python this is the most important thing why because if you want to select any stream or any domain first of all you have to know the basics so from knowing the basics then we will select our required domain simply without knowing abc it is not possible to write a single word not possible to write a sentence so the different main applications are to develop directly i will open desktop applications desktop application in the sense of standalone applications simply the applications that are installed in a system and execute on this particular system only the software that is executed in the particular system only to develop web applications web applications in the sense for example if you are open ircetc that is any application that are executed by using internet so the web applications are developed and we are using game environment by using this we are developing the games and most importantly we are using in the field of mission learning mission learning artificial intelligence data science iot or data analytics all these fields without python it is not possible to write a single line of code that means your agenda is learn the python after completion of the python you are successful a developer suppose if you want to increase your job then select one of the other domain for example either machine learning artificial intelligence whatever it is depending upon your wish that is not a thing so these are the applications that we are discussed now along with we also discussed some other point futures so no problem we will discuss all the futures whenever we are moving on the sessions we will cover all the futures okay right now again i will move back to the content what we are going to cover i will explain the content that we are going to cover so here generally python 
have full stack python have full stack is available but before full stack full stack in the sense both back end and front end that means we are writing the program we are testing the program we are designing the web pages everything is done by the full stack developer everything is done but before knowing the full stack if you want to become a data scientist or if you want to become a machine learning developer if you want to become a normal python programmer compulsory you need to know the basic things the first one is the first one is core python so here our sense in the sense core python in the sense the basic concepts in the simple sense the alphabets core python in the sense the alphabets that means what are the contents that are available for example overview of the python simple thing this thing specifies what is a python who developed the python what are the features what are the different versions and the most important python flavors what is mean by this python flavors first i will explain the python flavors see this one here observe the terms c python j python iron python pyp ruby anaconda python that means so we are developed the python programming language remember that the the python program is combinedly worked together with another programming language also for example for example see this one coming to c python it is a basic flavor it can be used to work with c language application that means i designed an application in c language but the application is not at all completed if you want to complete an application if you require python then this flavor that means this c python is used to work with c language so j python the name specifies the name specifies you can work with java applications iron python c hash dot net applications py py python that means internally one python it in another python ruby language anaconda python so generally this is used for data processing here from all this what the things you know simply python is combined with another programming language also that is the reason python becomes the most popular language the most popular language okay move back to the content so after discussing all the introduction part then we discuss the environment the environment in the sense compulsory if you want to perform some task you need some editors so what are the different editors okay so we are at this position the python environment that is the place where we are executing the python so these are the basic information now here we are learning the concepts by using that concepts we will construct a program we will develop a project so these are the basic concepts that means in the simple sense the alphabets a to z here these are called alphabets a to z by using those alphabets we are forming different words that means string expressions different operators everything these are performed so flow operators after that we will move to the flow of execution that means the control flow either decision making statements looping statements this one jumping statements these are the different statements after completion of all these statements i already said different words list tuple set frozen set dictionary these are the some concepts by using these concepts we are in a position to write any program and here for that all these concepts we apply the concept of functions why because generally to simplify the complexity of the program we are moving into functions so we will discuss the concept of functions different types of functions different things that are available in function and along with the most important three functions to simplify our task now so these are the basic topics 
Now, in the yesterday session, I said that Jao, sorry, Python. Python is both procedure oriented and object oriented. Yes. So all these things are up to procedure oriented. Suppose advanced Java, we will cover the object oriented concept. That means class inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, abstraction, object, all these advanced object oriented programming concepts along with the memory requirements, not externally, internally, how the memory is allocated, how the memory is destroyed, garbage collection is discussed. Now, up to now, we learn two things. How do you write a program in procedure oriented and object oriented? Fine. Once you know these basic things, then what you are doing? No? Modules. This is the most important thing of Python programming. Python becomes popular because of these modules only. What is mean by this module? Actually, the module is simply everything is predefined. For example, if you want to perform some operation, so assume the program size is 100 lines of code. Instead of writing 100 lines of code, I written that code at some place. Whenever I required, simply I use that particular code. So predefined now. Here our concept is what is a module? How the modules are defined in this? What we are going to discuss? We have 100 number of modules, not a single. We have 100 number of modules. So if from along this, we discuss the important modules, OS module, math module, random module, regular expression. Not only this, depending upon project, for example, to design graphics, we require tactile module. We discuss the tactile module. So all these modules are also discussed. For example, by using these modules, OS, we learn the concepts related to operating system math to perform all mathematical operations for example turtle this is a graphics module by using this we draw different shapes like this okay now once we completed all these things go to some advanced level what is that one multi-threading multi-threading simply our program is divided into different number of threads how do you handle multiple threads at a time that means to simplify the process. We are simplifying the process of execution. Now, the main advantage of one advantage of Python is exception handling. So exception handling in the sense, for example, by mistake, if you are writing any error in the program, how do without abnormal termination? Actually, if you have an error, assume my program is some A by B. If my A value is 10, for example, if I entered B value is 0, this is an abnormal termination. Actually, divided by 0 is not possible. But by using the concept of exception handling, these type of abnormal terminations are also handled. So by this, you are writing a project or you are doing a program. So abnormal termination is avoided. Okay. Now, after a completion of exception handling, the thing is file handling. What is mean by file handling? Actually, we are performing some operation on some data. Where the data is stored, we are using file concept. In these files, we are storing the data. From these files, we are performing the operation. Once these files are available, we are doing the serialization. That is simple terms. In which order we have to execute. So this is serialization and deserialization is performed. So right now it is fine. So Python programs are written. We are executing the program, follow the serialization, deserialization, everything. Up to now, all these concepts are related to Python. Now, another thing is if you want to do a project, what is the most important thing? You need a database where we are storing our information, right? Now I will explain some database. What are the different SQL commands? I will explain here the SQL commands also. And at the same time, how do we connect our Python 
to database that means database concepts the back end database concepts are also covered in this python now command line arguments this is another topic we will discuss the command line arguments i already said the regular expression modules okay now some of the advanced concepts everything we will cover both core and advanced whatever it is the concepts are advanced concepts in the sense here the meaning is not advanced topics here the meaning is the concepts that provide additional functionality already i constructed a project for example if you want to simplify the project if you want to add more functionality to the project we are using these concepts iterators generators closer decorators and if you want to handle different types of files so all these things are required all these things are required and how do we manage the memory so these things are also required these are the things that we are covered and in the yesterday session also i already said by using python these are the different areas we can move to any area or else you can become a python developer also even though you don't know any area you can become the python developer but if you want to enhance your skills you can move to any of these requirements so actually this is your course this is your course you are paying for only this course but to increase your skills i am using one more topic that is numpy this is one module pandas another module scipy another module matplotlib so these are the four modules that are most used by any machine learning application if you want to move some data science if you want to go some data science that means a machine learning application compulsory you need to know this module so i will explain all these four modules with an example and along with within 3 to 4 sessions i will explain the machine learning what is machine learning what are the different classifications of machine learning supervised and supervised i will explain at least to three algorithms decision tree svm suppose knn so many number of algorithms are covered but i will explain only some three algorithms decision tree svm so these are the popular algorithms in machine learning how my python program is used for along with these algorithms along with these algorithms okay so that means we are doing at least two to three projects we are doing at least two to three projects related to machine learning for example for example one project is uh, covid 19 prediction so what is mean by the project simply i consider the existing data set based on the existing data set based on the features i predict whether the person is a chance of covid or not this covid 19 prediction or else heart disease if you know any one disease the remaining procedures are same for example sales prediction or stock market prediction so different things are available or else we are performing Uh, suppose if you are moving to the domain of text how to perform classification on the text how to perform clustering on the text so we will cover at least two to three projects related to machine learning and two to three projects related to python so without including machine learning related to python suppose by using turtle module we develop some games suppose some basic games we will develop more games some basic games assume snake and ladder game or tic tac toe game or rock to salt uh, rock paper scissor games we have many number of games that means here our intention is we learn the concepts how do apply the concepts i think you got the point how do we apply the concepts and how these concepts are used for developing a project and along with if you are using database for example by using the database we are performing some school management or college management or hostel management or library management that is how the this many number of students are available 
how to organize the information of all the students so the such type of projects are also covered such type of projects are also covered these are the things that we are going to cover and again i am repeating one more point after completion of each and every topic for example today assume the topic string is completed assume the topic string is completed daily we give practice questions we give practice questions you have to do the practice questions if you have any doubt in the practice questions you can ask particularly any time so from morning to evening you can ask the doubts at any time and not only these practice questions you can select any questions from the internet we have many number of questions are available so you can practice the questions we will get that particular problems also not a problem okay so here the most important thing is i am teaching the python but you have to learn the python teaching is very simple but learning the concepts is very difficult so your aim is within one hour it is not possible so within one hour i teach the class no problem but you have to spare lot of time to do practice so finally first we have to fix your goal if you want to become a developer or if you want to move some other stream that is machine learning on other stream so based on that one increase your skills based on that one compulsory you have to increase your skills so these are the things this is things that we are going to cover throughout the session and when the students ask for the time actually the time is depending upon your capabilities depending upon your capabilities generally we are given two months of time generally we are given two months of time but remember minimum two months but may it takes two to two hand off in the worst case it takes three months also it takes three months also why because for example today my concept is completed tomorrow i will revise the topic first to 5 to 10 minutes i will revise the topic i will ask the questions whether you completed that one or not if you have any doubt i will clarify the doubts it takes some time for example if the entire topic is clear if you have no doubt so then directly i am moving to the next topic save some amount of time so that is the reason the minimum duration is 2 months and it may take 2.5 or 3 that is completely depends on your capability okay now if you have any doubt related to this one please think. and we are providing the python full stack also not only python core and advanced we are providing python full stack i think you know the meaning of full stack here we are providing both back end and front end yes depending upon your requirement you can select any one both back end or front end but if you want to become a python full stack developer compulsory you have to know the core and advanced without alphabets without language it is not possible to write a single program also without a to z it is not possible to say a single word exactly okay so easy and one more question is why we are selecting python we already have many programming languages the reason why you are selecting python so the simple main reason you have to assess yourself the simple and main reason is it is easy language okay that is fine it is continuously growing language in the fastest growing language compared to java i said compared to java python is the fast moving language why because python is mainly used in different domains different domains okay that is the reason you are learning we are moving into python okay if you have any doubts please ask me from actually from the tomorrow session onwards i directly move to the python concepts so top starts from the first concept and the installation everything from tomorrow onwards i will continue the sessions okay so yesterday and today sir, i will tell you know, what are the contents yes please sir there is given some starting classes tomorrow onwards yes tomorrow onwards we will begin the starting classes first topic onwards okay yes. sir okay and you me ah yes please any doubt yes. nothing sir nothing so, one more thing 
Oh, sorry. Again? Nothing, nothing, sir. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Okay, okay, okay. So one more thing is actually we are created a WhatsApp group. All the students are joined that group along with me. If you have any doubt, ping the message in the group. So I am available. So if I am available, definitely I will give you the answer. For example, in the worst case, if I am not available, any of your friend will give the answer. That is sharing of information. Sharing of information. And regularly we are providing job uh, that is job companies. That is uh, the companies where a particular jobs are available. For example, if you believe or don't believe, I will show you. I will show you. Then definitely you will believe. Wait for one second. Good. One second, I will open the WhatsApp. There you will check the different jobs. Generally, everyone said that we are providing job, we are providing job. But we have a proof also. How do we provide the job? How do we provide the job in the sense compulsory? You have to practice. You have to practice. We are providing the place where we are, the jobs are available. And we are trying in such a that way. So two to three years of experience, not a problem. For example, for example, this is one of the batch. So Python batch H. This is Python batch H. Okay, suppose see this one here. We have a full time job opportunity for Python developer. So Wednesday, we are posting two companies. See, observe the messages. Suppose on the 26th, we are posting two companies. On this 16th, we are posting again two companies. 14th of December, one company. 13th of December, two companies. Observe. Different companies we linked with many number of companies, not a single company. Observe, not a single one. So they completed their batch approximately. Uh, I will show you the date also. This batch 8 is completed approximately October or September. Even though the batch is completed, we continuously providing the job assessment continuously providing the job assessment but again i will make you one more point we will not provide the job actually we try to get the job we try to get the job definitely you will try you will get the job not a problem yes now any other else please ask Thanks. and the recording is also available every day we are providing the recording for example today the class is completed tomorrow you will get the recording definitely you will get the recording and within 24 hours, you have to download. You can use that recording video uh, throughout your life. Not a problem. So generally, somebody says that after uh, this particular number of days, the recording has expired. Not a problem. You can download and you can use throughout your life. Yes. Any other else? Anything? Not a problem. Okay. okay, tomorrow onwards I will start the session to start with the first concept. Sir, I have a doubt. Yes, please. Sir, in this course, you are giving only Python core and advanced syllabus, and you are giving Python full text, full stack course also. No, no, no. This is the course for uh, Python core and advanced only. And okay. I said actually Python full stack is also available. Just. If you are interested, after completion of this one, you can join the full stack. But even full stack also, these core and advanced are present. You got it? Okay. Yes. Any other else? Any other notes? Hi. Any programming experience required as a prerequisite? Yes, so, very good question. I start from scratch. You are belong to an IT student or not any student. Even you don't know what is the spelling of Python. So no problem. Definitely I will start from the scratch. So no prerequisite is required. The only prerequisite is your time. Simply your time is required. 
other than time nothing is required so python is the pro basic easiest programming language yes any other else okay can we close the session if you have any doubts please ask me otherwise i will close the session tomorrow i will continue the remaining topics okay thank you